hello everyone so today I'm going to talk about how to select an individual amino acid residue using the command line so for that you have to go to favorites and there you see the option that says command line here it opens right so for example okay now as you can see the uh, second line that says active models in case if you are uh, analyzing two models at a time or you are analyzing the complex of the ligand and protein there you have more than one models active right now I am analyzing one single protein molecule so that is why the model zero is active here now let's say I want to uh, select the amino acid number 100 in the chain A right so this is going to be the command for that that says select colon the amino acid number you want to select and then dot with the chain chain ID or chain name right so that's how you have to enter the command and see this is the green color that appears it means that the amino acid residue has been selected at the position 100 and in the chain ID that is A and the residue is arginine now this command was a bit specific right if we uh, remove the chain ID and then we just uh, enter the amino acid number I mean if, if you enter the select colon 100 amino acid right the amino acid at the 100 position so this is going to this command is going to select all the amino acids at 100 positions in all the chains of the protein if I would just color the selected regions so you could more clearly see it see it, it select it selected one two three well there has to be four uh, regions selected yes see it, there is like this one two three and the fourth so this um, command is going to select generally all the amino acids at hundred positions in all the present chains so as you can see it is selecting the four areas or the four amino acid residues it means that this protein is having four active chains and as in all the uh, amino acid residues in the chains have been selected it means that there is this possibility that all the chains are having the identical sequence or this protein is the tetramer it is active in its form where the the chains of the protein have uh, identical sequence so to make sure that this is the tetramer protein we have to go to favorites and then we have to visualize the sequence for all the chains that are a b c d all at once and when we click the show so see this is the uh, protein uh, chains that this shows four chains that are a b c d and i can clearly see that all of these chains are having the identical sequence so that is why all uh, the amino acid residues at 100 positions in all the chains they were selected when when we entered a very general command so and if we want to you know select 100 from the chain a we select uh, we enter the command that says select colon amino acid at the hundred position dot the chain ID this this green part is selected the residue is selected and then we color it differently 
and then we clear the selection. So that is how you can even generally select the amino acid residues um, at any specific number in present in all the chains or you can even uh, go one by one like you can uh, select individual residues specifically present in one chain uh, using the command line. Even uh, you can use the uh, you know manual mouse to select the amino acid residues but for that you have to be uh, you know sure about where the um, amino acid residue could lie okay I, I will be discussing later on um, on how to use the mouse for different purposes like um, you know there is this possibility that you can use the mouse to select manually the any amino acid residue by clicking on the protein molecule because as you see when you put the cursor on any area there this residue and uh, the chain name comes up right as you can see here where I, uh, I I pointed the cursor it says a valine 167 uh, it's is the position of the amino acid residue and the chain ID is the A so that was all for uh, this video next I will be talking about how to visualize the different uh, surface displays for your ligand molecule so if you find this video helpful please do like and share thank you